Woods Upper St. Clair High School Stadium. We're here on Saturday afternoon with a game between the Upper St. Clair Lady Panthers and the Chartiers Valley Lady Colts. Along with me today, I'm Mark Hopkins. We've got Gary Walton here doing the uh, analytical part of the game. I guess you could call it that. And we've got a guest up here in the booth as well with um, Keith Boyvin coming back to supervise the uh, proceedings here today. He's our producer today. Mm -hmm. This will be a real stiff test for the uh, Lady Panthers and certainly should let us know uh, where we stand. Ball played ahead to Erica by Kelly Gall. Out to Mia. Mia with a nice cross to, oh, looking for Natalie. And Kelly's coming in to put the ball on, on goal. Nice little start for the Panthers. Yeah. Goal kick for CV. We've got Alex Lostetter in goal today, senior goalkeeper. Allie Dorsey and Beth Diedrich playing the central defenders. Jenna Bartuzic at left marking back and uh, Tori Tomacek starting today at, uh, at the right side marking back. The two inside mids are Callie, Callie Gall and Laura Elliott. Outside mids, Mia Baldetet and Alex Jaffe. And up top, we've got Erica Marshall and Natalie Ilkin. Lady Panthers keeping control early. There's Alex playing the ball into the center of the field. Laura's going to pick that up, play it back, reset. Allie out to Jenna. Jenna ahead to Mia. I think uh, a nice drop in there for Natalie. Yeah. Okay, Nat, good, good cross. She good got ball. the great cross. That looks like that's going to be a corner kick. Yeah, we got the corner. Good work by the Lady Panthers, keeping the ball deep into the Shaw Valley zone here early. Eric is going to take the corner. We've got Allie and Beth both moving up from their defensive position to see if they can get into the play here. Let's see what we can do early off this set play, Gary. Lady Panthers have a number of injuries, but they still look just as strong. Nice to have a nice large army. Oh, Callie. Is Allie Dorsey going to maintain like control? Yeah. Tori Tomachek trying to play that ball into the center. Beth gets back to clean that up. Out to Alex and drop back to Tori. Tori looking for Erica. CV's going to take control of that ball, get it out to the midfield. Yeah, we've got uh, a number of, uh, of people on IR right now, Gary. We've got four or five players yeah. that aren't playing today. It uh, it may w it may show its toll early nice on. Nice flick, Erica, with the nice flick there. There's Mia making a move to the corner. Mia looking for nice a cross. ball, Mia. Did Erica, get there. Oh, good try. Erica just missed it. Still a nice play. By it Mia. was a nice play by Mia. There's Beth working hard to get that ball away, and Car Callie comes back and plays it back to Tori. Tori putting it into the midfield. Laura Elliott <laughs> played ahead, and Alex is going to come out and play that. Looks like that's going to be white ball. Yeah, it came off number 12. I think that's Carrie, Carrie Kirkwood, uh, CV defender. I guess we threw the ball in a little early. A little early. Oops. Erica playing it back across the field. Now got to go to the ball, Tori. Here you go. Tori going to try to catch up with that one. She does. Tori's quick. A nice nice play. play. Nice recovery, nice Tori. And yeah, we've got both Chelsea's hurt. We've got uh, um, Trish Surdy hurt and um, Allie Walker. Allie Walker has uh, actually a broken nose, Gary, from the, uh, the game the I other night that. with West Mifflin. Collided with the girl uh, from West Mifflin going for a head ball. And the girl's a tough player. Yeah, she'll be back, I think, next week. And That's nice good job, man. Laura. Good, good pass, good goal. I see the Shaw Valley strategy. They're going to try to double and triple Erica, which is going to leave open 
A lot of our midfielders, including Laura Elliott at that time, who put a perfect shot over the right corner. As long as they continue to do that, the Lady Panthers have a lot of weapons. They, they just can't double and triple what they perceive as our number one gun, which she may be. Mm -hmm. But, but uh, no, you're yeah, right. there's just too many weapons. They're going to have to play them on us. Okay, we're off to a good start. There's Natalie with the, uh, with the dispossession. Uh, Erica playing it ahead. We've got Mia coming outside. Oh. Oh, 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 this isn't good. Erica's down holding her ankle. Oh, this is not good at all. Well, let's hope it's just a minor injury. Looked like she got tangled up with the Shaw Valley uh, defender there. That's a good sign. Erica's up. She's walking under her own power. That's certainly a good sign, but it, that gave you an example of how they're going to double team, at least double team Erica every time she touches the ball. Brittany Finley coming into the game. Brittany going to play up top with uh, Natalie and leave Laura Elliott in the midfield. I would expect Upper St. Clair to press even harder than they have before. So we'll just keep an eye on this. Nat the Cat will take the ball. That's going to be trouble. Goalkeeper got there just, Goalkeeper just, made a nice just play, in time. But yeah. It was going to be trouble. I think they're going to see a lot of that today. Ball played into the midfield. There's Alex Jaffe heading it forward. Nice step in by Tory. Tory's going to get there. Nope. Just cleaned up by Callie. Callie up to Alex. To Brittany. Or Al <laughs> no, i got to get this straight. That's not Brittany Finley. That's it's Alex Finley. Alex Finley, Finley yeah. Brittany Finley, the other goalkeeper. Although she would probably love to come in on the field. That's right. That's right. Brittany's Brent, not a bad field player either. Okay, there's Beth Diedrich from play to cross field to Mia. Uh, uh, misjudged by the defender for uh, CV. Played ahead to trouble. Alex. Alex yeah. Keeper's going to get there just before Alex could put a foot on it. I think she's going to see a lot of that. Mind, back, back in. Okay, momentary lapse, but we're back. Technical difficulty. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> they happen. Good step back yeah. by Alex. Good job, Alex Finley. Ball played ahead to CV, and Ellie Dorsey comes through and takes it away. There's Laura Elliott. Laura with a nice move and Out a to nice Jenna. pass. Jenna putting it ahead oh. to Mia. Good job, Mia. Okay, Alex. Alex. Come on, support now, girls. Played out of bounds by CV. Well, Sarah Sakenik is back. We want to extend our sympathies to the Sakenik family for the loss of Sarah's grandmother. Yes. Passed away this week, and Sarah's back on the field now. Nicely nice done, Beth. Play, Beth. Nice job, Beth. Beth stepping right in. Just couldn't get any offense on top of that pass up front, but it was beautiful. There's Alex coming out to play this ball. Natalie, Natalie. for somewhere to go. Plays it back to Laura. Laura's going to go ahead to Sarah, who's, who's held there? it on sides. Yeah, got Mia. Got Mia coming across. Oh, oh, that's going to be a corner. That's a corner. Kick. Let's see Sarah if... Sarah uh, Sakinik is so good at taking that outside road, then crossing that ball. Looks she, like... Immediate impact. Mm -hmm. So she got in the game. 
Sarah going to take the corner. Let's get on it, White. Punched out. And, oh. Callie put it down on the ground. There you go. Good try. Good hard shot by Callie Gall. Just didn't get through the legs. Allie Dorsey with the ball. Going to play it back to Alex. Alex will clear it. Puts it up to Callie. Callie out to Mia. Nice play. The girls are doing a nice job working the ball around. Got there the goes ball. Natalie. Come on, Nat. Nat looking for There's Alex. Room. Oh. And nice and Callie going to put it on goal. And that could be over her head. Oh, oh. Off, the, off the football crossbar. Was off the pole. Was that off the post? No, I think it was off the... Yeah, that was off the uh, good. Oh, yeah, uh, that hit the crossbar. Yeah, football, hit the football crossbar, crossbar. Which is out of play. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a goal kick for CV. Shaw Valley bench and parents were uh, quick to point that out. Quicker than the referee. <laughs> <laughs> parents here at CV that come to visit, they're always on top of things. So. Especially at Empress St. Clair. Absolutely. <laughs> Sarah Sakenik intercepts that pass and oh, just couldn't keep it in. Good try, Bauer. Good effort. All right, throw in for CV and we're going to play Panthers this back to our defense. Ball. No serious threat on him yet. Knock on wood. Out to Jenna. Jenna with some space. Going to put it ahead to, I think she was looking for Mia. There's Allie Dorsey. Oh, we got the ball through, but here comes Alex to play it out of danger. Nice judgment by Alex. Alex was far enough out of the net that she didn't have to run all that far to take that ball. That was a good play. There's Callie, intercepts the pass, and out to Mia. Mia putting it through to Natalie, up ahead to Alex. There's a little handball. Inadvertent. There's Tori Tomacek playing it ahead to Sarah, and just a little wide. And CV throw. We've noticed in the last few games, Gary, that you know the, the opposition is so so intent on playing back and, and slowing down our offense that they have nobody in the midfielder, and but certainly no the, striker. By the time they get an offensive strategy, it's just no players up to actually that, do anything. Exactly. That was uh, TJ. Um, West Mifflin and McGuffey the other day. It's the same same format in all three games. Everybody's uh, back behind the 50, and there's no one to, to mount any offense once they get the ball in their possession. So consequently, by Alex any ball I'm that comes cross. through goes right to our, our four defenders. Nice job, oh, Mia. Nice, Mia. Oh, there's Alex. Oh. Callie trying to step into that. That's it, Allie Dorsey. Allie Dorsey with a nice step in. There's Tori, going to play it back to Alex Lostetter. Alex with a nice uh, nice kick three. up to midfield. Oh, good try, Laura. Nice play by Carrie Kirkwood for CV. There's Sarah, going to maintain possession. Tori will get it up. Tori looking for Alex Finley. Right to Callie. Callie's going to put it in. Let's go forwards. Get there forwards. Natalie working hard as usual. That's it. Alex, give it to Mia. Nice oh, job. Mia, one long. touch. Hit it, Mia. Oh, good try. Good try. Follow up. Oh, nice play by the goalkeeper. Two nice plays. Yep. But that, that shot was right at her. Yep. But you don't know that when you're shooting it. And okay. just like that, the offense turns it around. There's Laura Elliott. Plays ahead to Natalie. Tori making a run out of the back. Up to Sarah. There's Sarah. It'll be a white throw. Be a throw. Good work by Sarah Sakenik. Thrown into Alex. Back to Sarah and put this ball across. Oh, nice kick. Oh. A little bit, little bit on goal, a little bit. 
You need to swing that out a little further yeah. out of the six, but nice idea. There's Jenna going to track that down, play it across, and Sarah's there to take possession. Nice drop for Tori Tomacek. Uh, look, look uh, come on, Natalie. Natalie. Keep going. Yeah, Alex. Man, that's, that was a All beautiful right, play. nice job, Natalie. The hustle by Natalie popped it off the goalkeeper. Alex there with a nice one touch into the goal. And it is 2 0. 2 0. There we go. Yeah, nice hustle by Natalie Yoken to, to stay on top of the ball, yeah, challenge the keeper. Just too much offensive pressure on this, this Shaw Valley team for them to even mount any kind of offense. And you're constantly making those runs like that. There's going to be an opening. And that was a good goal by Alex. She took her time and, and didn't, didn't overhit it, just put it right in the corner of the net. Okay. We're uh, 14 minutes into the first half, and it's Upper St. Clair Lady like Panthers so far, yeah. 2. There's Beth with the ball. No serious threat on us yet. Nope. Ooh, that had to hurt. Natalie with the ball forward to Alex. Alex feeling a little confidence now. Yeah, Alex on the move, going to call a handball. Okay. Unfortunate play. She was looking goal wide. Mm -hmm. CV with the free kick. Callie with a play. Let's see if Alex can save this. She Good can. job, Alex. There's Mia. Good challenge, Mia. Played ahead by Jenna. The CV goalkeeper with a punt. There's Sarah Sakenik. A ball played ahead by the CV midfielders. That Jenna's going like to run this down. Yeah. Jenna's going to screen her off and. It'll be a white throw. Jenna's been doing a nice job as have all the defenders for um, for St. Clair, but Jenna's been real steady this this season, as as have Beth and uh, Allie Dorsey, and when Allie Walker has been in there, and uh, and now Tori. That play has worked all oh, season. Oh, nice job. Sarah we got Natalie. Spot on that. She's going to look across. Okay, we'll take the throw in. And just like that, we're back in the zone. We are back in the attacking Defensive end. Defensive pressure. Sarah Sakenik looking for somebody to throw to. There's Laura Elliott coming to the ball. Played off by the CV defense. Up top to number 12. Nice play by yeah. Allie Dorsey. Yeah, nice job, Allie. Allie with the ball again. She's going to play it back to Alex. And that lady pants. No, good defense. job by Mia. Mia. Making the run. That oh, nice ball nice to play. Alex. Alex using Get her there, speed. Alex. Nice, nice oh, play. Man, what a play. Who's there? Oh. Come on, Sarah. Sarah's there. Back across in front. Oh, oh, what a shot. Nice try, girls. Nicely played. Just missed that. Just side netted it. It was a nice, nice play by Alex. Oh, that, that, went in. that went in. No, it was outside. I think so. It was, it was outside there, but it was side netted. Correct. We like the announcement, though. Good thought. Good thought. <laughs> okay, we've got uh, a couple of substitutions for uh, St. Clair. Allie Lee coming in at the outside mid for Mia Baldetat, and Katie Ali coming in for Callie Gall at uh, inside mid. There's Katie with her foot on the ball. Ball played back. Jenna going to corral this. Play it back to Alex. Swings it out wide to Tori. Tori flip it ahead to Sarah Sakenik. Well, we've actually got Alex Lust, uh, or uh, Alex Jaffe now back in the game too. So we move to go wide with this. Yeah, we move Sarah. There's Natalie. Oh, nicely oh. done, Nat. There's Alex. This is some more trouble for Shore Valley. Oh, oh. try Alex. Alex was steaming in on that right flank there. Just we, couldn't get a flat foot on it. Gary, with the uh, with the depletion of the troops, or we've, we're doing some creative things. We've moved uh, Sarah Sakenik to inside mid, put Alex Jaffe back at the uh, right outside mid. And I think that's a good move. Too. Yeah, they're both versatile players, both have decent speed, and both know how to win the ball. Well, we're down two midfielders with Chelsea, your Chelsea, Chelsea Walton, and Trish Surdy being out with injuries, and. Uh, down a uh, down a defender with Allie Walker being out with a broken nose. 
Yeah, I think uh, both Chelsea and Trisha could have played, but Coach David Gray electing to see how his troops would uh, fare against this Shaw Valley Colt team. You never know. They, they could still put up a nice fight and not electing to put his, uh, his starters in real danger, letting them get a day of rest. Nice play. Nice job, she, Alex. She always puts her body it's on amazing. the line here. Fearless, she, fearless. She, she got airborne for that hitter. Oh, God. <laughs> the the Jaffinator, Jaffinator, we're told. Okay, there's Sarah Sakenik. Oh, had me. I just couldn't get it through. Okay. Nice, Natalie. Alex Jaffe putting the ball. Oh, looked to put it across to, to Allie Lee, but uh, just put it uh, a little too deep and over the goal. I, lo I love this offensive pressure the Panthers are putting on them. It just uh, disrupts their whole game when you have to play defense all the time. Katie Olive taking the ball out of the air. Over to Sarah. Sarah's going wide. Looking for Allie Lee. She's going to play it back to Jenna. Nicely done. Forward for Natalie, but a little too wide. And there's Katie Ali to take possession again. She's going to drop it back to Beth. And we'll reset. Beth looking for Natalie. She wanted Tori on that uh, run up by the defender. And Jaffe's back to, yeah. Jaffe. back to Allie Dorsey. Win possession of that ball. And once again today, we've got three Alexes on the field and <laughs> two Allies on the field at the same time. Allie Walker gets back. Well, we could have a uh, Natalie, trifecta. Nice left foot going for that right corner. About a foot or two wide. Get the goal kick from Shaw Valley, who are a bit on their heels right now. Just a, just a bit, Gary. They, they haven't had a shot on goal. They haven't even had a play through the midfield yet. That's if it gets out, it's going to be a white throw in. Oh, and she just got out. there and she played it out. out. Okay. Referee stop play. Now let's see how deep Alex uh, Jaffe puts this throw. Alex with the corner kick throw in here. Okay, let's get everybody set and get ready for this throw. Yeah, nice nicely done. Throw. Who's there? That was a nice play there. Nice job by Katie Ellie. Taking the ball away from CV and gets it over to Alex. Dorsey with a nice header. Allie Lee. Oh, well, I was going to get called uh, for a push. Like a foul there. Yeah. Use a little bit of the forearm. Yeah. Good still, aggressive play. Still just, a nice play. Yeah, Win just, the ball. It's got nabbed a little bit for getting that arm out. Free kick for Chartiers Valley. Played ahead just by like Alex. That. Yeah, we're going to turn back it back on, around. They're back on the defense. There's Alex. Man on, Alex. Up to Natalie. Ah. Tried to put it ahead for Tori, who was making a run, but a little too deep. Still a nice play. Ball still deep in Shaw Valley territory. It's uh, they can't figure a way to crack this Panther defense. This is going to be a long day. Live. Coach Gray over there doing a little coaching from the sidelines, telling them to settle it down a little bit, maintain control. Alex up in the air. Back to Katie Ali. Katie with time, looking for Alex Finley. Alex, Alex still Finley nice job, there. Alex. Come on, come on, Allie, Allie Lee. Still alive. It still is alive. Oh, there's Sarah Sakenik. The nice in. cut, Sarah. Putting it across field for Alex Jaffe. Alex, Alex maintained possession, dropping it back shot. to Katie Ali. Katie Ali shot on goal just a little oh, wide. A little wide. Still, shots on goal, passes to left, right. When you got to play it all, a lot of defense. It's going to wear you down. It's been all up for St. Clair, Gary. Can't say I'm unhappy about that. Mark. No, that's, that's for sure. Better in our end than their end. <laughs> that's for sure. Katie Ali looking for Allie Lee. 
uh, intercepted by the uh, midfield of CV. Played out of bounds, and we've got Jenna with the throw in. Jenna and uh, Alex Finley. And Jenna's going to get this ball back and put it deep in their territory. There's Alex. Nicely well, done to Natalie. Natalie's Natalie. in on goal. Oh. That's going nice. to be a corner kick, a corner. I believe. I think the goalkeeper got her hands on it. No, it's calling a goal kick. Hmm. I thought the keeper got her hand on it, but. Well, we can't check the replay, so no. we'll, let it, we'll let it be the right call. Natalie broke in there, and uh, the keeper made a nice, uh, nice play just to come out and get, get low to get to the ball. Natalie pushed it a little wide. Ball played ahead to 22, but a little deep, and uh, Allie Dorsey there to play it back to Alex Lostetter. Over to Jenna. Jenna with a lot of territory to maneuver here. A lot of room. Jenna up to Alex. There's Allie Lee fighting for the what nice, a nice job, Allie. Allie Lee. Alex. Oh, oh nice, oh, nice cross. Alex. Oh, come on, Alex. Oh, tough touch. That's going to be a corner. Ooh. Alex just. I would have uh, liked to see Alex just pop that. She yeah, all alone she let there. that touch get away from her a little bit. And yeah, she wanted a good shot to become perfect. Made up for it by knocking over 21. Because it's uh, almost as good for her as scoring a goal. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> the Jaffinator. They don't call her that for nothing. Sarah Sakenik with the uh, corner. Oh, nice flick by uh, Alex Finley. Here comes Allie Lee, and there's Allie Dorsey to clean that up. Plays it back to Jenna. Possession stays with St. Clair. Jenna looking for Sarah. Oh, that was a long time to make a bad decision. I think that's just that's just uh, characteristic of being on defense. You get you get on defense for so long. You when you finally get possession, you're not sure what to do with the ball. That's right. Nicely done, Sarah. Plays it back to Tory. Shaw Valley just looks a little confused when they do win possession. Yep. There we go. Sarchers Valley with two two completed passes and a play forward. Yeah, uh, Beth Dieter's going to run her off. And nice. they. That was a white throw. Mm -hmm. Up to nice Alex. Play by yeah, CV taking taking that ball over, but uh, Katie Ali is going to step in, win it back. Katie Jesus. playing it out to Alex. Just ah. a, still a good play. Mm -hmm. Nicely done by Katie Ali. Got a CV substitution. I believe the Shore Valley coach is looking for some type of offensive push, starting to sub his front line, but mm -hmm. they have to win possession of the ball first. Oh. And that's not happening. No, nope, bad throw by CV. We're going to change it over. Bad throw to Alex. Help. Alex was Alex a with nice, nice throw. toss to Natalie. And we're going to. Okay, here we go. Alex with another throw. We'll get that into the six-yard line from here, probably. Oh, easily. See, can we make it 3-0 here, White? All right, Alex. Let's put this toward the goal. Oh, she's going short to Katie Ali. Katie couldn't control the throw. And we've got another throw in. Good job, Katie. I think it'll be a different strategy this time. Yeah, I think we're going long this time. <laughs> Looking for Natalie. Ooh, oh, that looked like a handball box. in the box. There's we'll get another throw. Alex with another throw. She's going to throw her shoulder out in a series of uh, plays. I saw the referees kind of look at each other, uh, uh, trying to make that judgment. Natalie again, just just missed. And we're going to play that back to Jenna. Jenna going to put it left-footed into the uh, into the oh, six. Nice, nice job, Allie Lee. Way to get there, Allie. Stay, it's going to stay alive, and Allie Lee's going to fight for possession. He's got Sarah out there. 
Is there over to Katie Ali? Ah, back to Jenna. Jenna will play it right back. Jenna's in. playing it into Natalie. And I think we may have another corner kick. It is. Yeah, corner kick for Upper St. Clair. And we've got pressure Sarah Sakenik going to take this one again. Mounting pressure, mounting pressure. Which is good for us. But if you're a Shaw Valley fan, it's a, turn it into a long half. 11 mm -hmm. minutes left. Oh, put but it behind the goal. Behind. All right, Sarah, good, good effort. Okay, it'll be a goal kick for Chartiers Valley. We're um, 11 minutes left in the first half, and it's up for St. Clair 2. Chartiers Valley nil. There's the goal kick for CV. Oh. I think they're going to get think, uh, uh, Alex. Alex. No, I'm Valley. I'm going to get an Alex. Yeah, it's Alex. Oh, they're calling. Giving the ball back to the girl for another goal oh, kick. Oh, wait a minute. They're calling the ball didn't clear the 18, I guess. Oh, yeah. yeah. The ball has to clear the. Uh, 18 before you can touch it. There's Sarah Sakenik with the ball. Playing it back to Jenna. Jenna gets there. Nice challenge by CV, and they're going to maintain control. Play it ahead, but off the uh, forward and back to St. Clair. And Laura Elliott's back in the game for Alex Finley. Laura's up at uh, forward now. A little run here by Char Valley. And Beth is going to step into that nicely. Good anticipation. There's CV. has got a little bit of uh, momentum going here, Gary. But nicely done by, oh, Allie Dorsey, but played back to CV. Beth is going to control that. And CV with the ball again. And we've got Alex lost at her. Still, you could sense they just weren't sure what to do. They had that ball penetrated into the 20 against the Lady Panthers. Char Valley just not sure how to proceed offensively against this team. Ball played nicely by Torrey. Over to Beth, and Beth's gonna play it forward looking for Natalie. Natalie gets her head on it. And uh, that's Torrey again. That's it's gonna, gonna be a red throw. And they're gonna sub. Moving his midfielder up to, now they're all, he's trying to get some offensive mm -hmm. pressure. It's trying to find a combination that works. It's been all St. Clair so far. Natalie with good pressure. Played out, it's gonna be red throw again. But good job by Natalie to pressure those defenders. Yeah. CV with the ball. Trying to put that ball through, and there's Allie Dorsey stepping in to take it away. To Allie Lee, back to Jenna Bartuzic. Sarah Sakenik, nicely done to Jenna. Jenna's going to put go, that ball Natalie. into space. And, uh, just a little far for little Natalie. Far. Good idea, though, Jenna. There's Katie Ali rounding this one up. Played back to Tori, and we'll reset. Tori looking for Laura, and there's Sarah Sakenna going to take control. She's got Sarah. Allie Lee. Oh, uh, couldn't put trying, it through. Trying to get it through that, yeah. left, that left side. There's Laura Elliott. Yeah, one too many touches for Beth. But good idea to take that ball up through the middle. Still got it out of... Mm -hmm. Out of trouble. There's Tori Tomachek. Oh, 22's got, oh, nicely done, Jenna. Way to recover, Jenna. We got a red throw. Nicely Jaffe. done by Alex Jaffe. Right the over the top, gets their head on the ball and plays it forward. There's Katie Ali up to uh, Laura. Laura looking for somebody to make a run here. Drops it back to Tori. 
Victoria heads to Alex, but just out of bounds. And we've been relentless with this uh, with this control of the ball, Gary. Yeah, they've got they've got three defenders that just are afraid to go past that thirty yard line. There's Natalie. Played forward, Sarah got time. Oh, tried to put it through to Allie Lee again. And Katie Ali is going to play it back to Jenna. Nice idea. And Jenna's got time. Good look to Laura. Laura's got K oh, Sarah Sakenik with a run up to Natalie. Just put it behind her. Ooh, nice and there's Allie there. Lee in the right spot. Good work by Allie Lee. Yep. Nice, and nice throw into Laura. Laura looking for somebody to make a run there. Had uh, Alex too far inside. Here comes Tori. She's gonna play that ball back to Beth. Lots they, of time. They don't have a player there. They just got a player over the 50 yard mm -hmm. line. There's Allie it's Dorsey with be, a lot um, of time. Easy for St. Clair to s switch back to offense. Ball up to Natalie. Over to Tori. Ah, just just, just by her. Just out of her reach. CV throw. Let's see if I can do something here, Gary. I haven't seen Erica Marshall over there. She's uh, not getting worked on, but I think yeah. uh, Coach Gray is, is going to be a little cautious with the gunslinger. Uh-oh. Oh, that good. could be a corner. Yeah, that's going to be a corner. Hey, CV gets some offense. Number 22 uh -huh. there. Played it, uh, played it off Allie Dorsey and went on beyond the goal line for a corner kick for CV. Corner kicks are always uh, interesting, so. All right, let's see what kind of uh, set play CV comes up with here. Yeah, they've got everybody well, outside got a, the 18. We got, we got a double thing here in the and corner. They go short, and the ball played across, and Sarah Sakenik right there to stop that, but it's still in play for CV. CV going to put it on goal, but Alex lost that right there. Alex lost had that track down, but that was a nice sequence there. Mm -hmm. That was one time it looked like Shaw Valley had a plan. They better yes. get back. Beth with a here lot of room Beth. to run, and nicely Looking done wide. to Alex Jaffe. Nice ball. Stay on sides, everybody. There's Natalie. Oh, Natalie. A little too anxious there, Nat. Nobody between you and the keeper, Natalie. Nicely done. Nice play by Beth Diedrich up to Alex that Jaffe. That turn that play from defense to offense in a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. Well, the whole middle of the field was open, and Beth saw it and took advantage of it and then played it uh, a great ball on the, on the run to Alex Jaffe, yeah. who put it right on Natalie's foot. It's Allie Dorsey. Up to Sarah. Sarah's going to play it out to Jenna. She's got Allie Lee. There it is. This is a similar play that just happened, except on the other side. Nice. There's Natalie. Going to try and turn it. Nice cut. That was a nice great shot. play by Natalie, but right at the goalkeeper. We got to shoot those corners. It's easy for me to say sitting up here, though. That may get out. No. Nice try by number 22 for CV. Going to be our throw. Jenna Bartuzic outside marking back and play it back to Allie Dorsey. Switch fields to Tori. We're in the three minute mark here of the first half. It's been all Upper St. Clair so far, Gary. I would say you've got an accurate analysis there. <laughs> genius, soccer genius. You are. <laughs> There's That's what I heard about you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you you read my uh, my uh, self-written bio. <laughs> <laughs> you got that right. How we sound. Keith with the uh, with a quick commentary over there in the corner. Our producer. Alex lost it. Played ahead to Alex yeah, Jaffe. Oh, just couldn't keep it in. Nice try, Alex. Red throw, and they're in our side of the field. Played ahead, but to Katie Ali. And Katie. Oh, Sarah, nice try. 
There's Katie Ali stepping into it. Nicely done. Up to Laura from Natalie. Jenna. Jenna with good anticipation gets that ball ahead, but played out of bounds. Red throw at the two minute mark. Laura Elliott with possession, nicely done. And, oh, looking for Katie Ali. Looking, but, looking yeah. in that middle there. Oh. Someone lost a shoe. thrown a shoe there, one of the CV players. What a step she's in by gonna, Tori. Yeah. Nice, yeah. Natalie, nice turn. She's going to use the speed now. You know, she threw two defenders, and oh, she's yeah. in on goal. Oh, nice, nice job by the keeper. Well, still in play. Still There's in. Laura. Oh. Good sequence. We've got to teach Natalie to not shoot to the goalkeeper, but she made a heck of a move to get through there. That's why they wear those bright colored jerseys. <laughs> Ball taken away by CV. And played ahead to 22 over to that's Spencer Aaron Holtz, their captain and center midfielder. Nice job by Allie Dorsey. And there's Beth and Katie Ali with the ball out to Sarah. I'm sorry, Tori, over to Sarah. And she's got Allie Lee. Just can't get that ball across to her. Jenna's going to let it the roll out. The ability of the Lady Panthers to win the one-on-ones is really taxing on Shar Valley. They're, they're able to win the one-on-one -on -one battles and keep possession of the ball. Well, they've got good anticipation, and they're seeing the field very, very well. And they know where everybody's at. So once they get it on their foot there, they're looking to get it away. There's Beth. Beth goes wide to Tori Tomachek. Tori still with possession. I just lost it. Now we're going to go back to the nice job with uh, Beth Diedrich taking that ball away. Plays it ahead, and we're down to the final seconds of the first half. Upper St. Clair Lady Panthers 2 and Chargers Valley Lady Colts 0. We'll see you at the second half. Well, my name is Keith Boyv and I'm here. I'm taking over for Mark. He sort of, uh, I don't know, he went to the bathroom and never came back. What happened? <laughs> I think he's over at the uh, refreshments today and seeing if they uh, finally stocked that with uh, his favorite drink. I don't know. His favorite drink. Well, the last yeah. time he went to the concession stand, he got stuck behind a bunch of... Uh, JV players and they were ordering everything in sight, so he couldn't even get to the counter. Uh, I don't, I don't see him, but nevertheless, we're going to start the half without him. And uh, Upper St. Clair is up two goals to nil, nil, nil. We will say from now on as we're uh, auditioning for our <laughs> European <laughs> debut. debut. <laughs> We've got Alex Lastetter back in goal, and uh, it looks like we're setting up for a flat back defense again, which has been working really well. Yeah, very well. And two of our defenders back there are two of the most experienced players on this team. And Upper St. Clair takes the first lead, loses it in the middle. And 16 for Charvella gets it. They're trying to punch it through. They can't really quite get there, but they keep attacking, which is what they're going to have to do if they want to mount any kind of offense. They're going to have. To, they're going to have to keep that ball on this end. They will just not be able to handle a game where they play defense the entire game and hope that they get a nice, quick breakthrough. It's just not going to happen against this this defense. No, that's true. So Charval got it again. They're punching it towards the middle. That's where they think their strength is. They punch it up, and their forward isn't quite there, but it's close right to the ball. Alex does get her hands on it, and she's going to punt it away. They've made a couple of little runs here. Kept control of the ball. Yep. Now Sarah's got it. She's looking for that corner, and it's a little too far. There we go. Charval's trying to keep the momentum going and uh, try to mount an attack. You know, St. Clair just controls the ball. And Charval's on the move, punching it to the middle, number 22. 
good, good play. Sarah's got it, and she's going to control it and looking for a player upfield. There she goes. It's going to go down to the corner now. That's a good ball. Here comes Laura Elliott. Shaw Valley defender just put it out of bounds. Pressure still on. Laura Elliott. Laura's got it. She's going to have a punch towards the net. Looked like and a corner kick. She got a corner out of it. So St. Clair opens up, and uh, here we are, 38 counting down. We've got a scoring opportunity with a corner kick. Sarah Sukinnett going to take this one. And we've got a couple players in the box. We've got everybody outside the box, and here they go. Here's the kick. It's low. Natalie got a foot on that one. Still kept it in play. Still in play. Shaw Valley manages to clear it out to the side. St. Clair maintains possession. We got a throw in going back to Allie Dorsey. Sarah Sakinick with the Natalie with the chop in there. St. Clair gets the ball. They're trying to control it in the middle. Charval is doing a good job trying to defend and uh, attack our attackers. And here we go. Nice footwork by Laura Elliott. Ellie Dorsey passing it up. And Nat was just trying to pick that ball towards the center to get a shot on goal. And it's going to be a Charvel throw in. That was off Allie Dorsey, but she stopped a streaking player from Char Valley going on that right side. There's Nat the Cat over there trying to. Char Valley looking a little more purposeful starting out with this half, but not much to show for it yet. Uh, you know, maybe they're hoping we come out with a little overconfidence and they can take advantage of that. So far, we're holding our own. As Nat's got her hair up. That's, that's always a good sign. Is that a good sign? That's the one thing about girls' soccer. You can tell what sort of their, what their uh, demeanor, is. demeanor is by their hairdo. <laughs> Beth tries to find a player in the midfield, and no one was there. And uh, step in, good step in. Charval is uh, got the ball in our half, and uh, they're trying to mount an attack. Yeah, they're a lot more purposeful, making some passes. That's gonna. Uh, and here goes Natalie. Nat the cat. She's got the She's speed. got the ball. And wow. she found the she orange the jersey. On her. She's finding that orange jersey a lot. Still, she's gonna be a handful over there. One on one. And she is a uh, dangerous person up there on top and they know it. And St. Clair's got the ball. They're uh, trying to mount some passes, playing a little bit of a control ball, which is what they need to do to really sort of just take the momentum out of Shar Valley. And, and that ball's going to roll out about the 15, 20 yard line. Yeah, it rolled about 20 yards down the red line. Shar Valley's got a throw in. Natalie got a little bit of a head on it. It's that hairdo. <laughs> that did it. You got a player on the outside coming up, making a run. She's going to save the ball. Looking for a cross. She's going to go across that ball. Nope. That's going to be a, oh, goalkeeper saved it. That would have been a corner kick. St. Clair's doing a good job. Attacking That's that defense. Out, no, it's a good save by the Shaw Valley player. Beth Dieterich crossing it over. And 
This is a different game from the first half, Gary. Well, the strategy he's using is he's not letting us pass that ball through the midfield. But here oh. we got it through. That was a good pass by Sarah Sukinik. Laura Elliott was just uh, behind that pass. She was just one step off, and that could have been an excellent scoring opportunity for St. Clair. Here we go. Nice shielding. St. Clair maintaining control. We're She's crossing over. over to Sarah in the Here's middle. Sarah. She's got great vision on the field. Laura they... looking for an opening. There yep. it is. There Kelly we go. Ball. That's got good control of that ball. Just like that, the middle of the field opens up. Sarah Sukinik with a nice pass from Callie Gall. And she streaks it. Uh, goalie made a good save on that ball. But they've got the goalie out of the goal. And it was just too exciting. We just couldn't. We just couldn't oh, finish that. An what an opportunity. Goal open yeah. goal. We couldn't get that ball in. It's just too exciting. It's like Christmas, trying to open <laughs> the Christmas presents, you know. But that was a, that was a great uh, movement by St. Clair, making good pressure on the defense, opening the field up, getting the ball down there. They pulled the goalie out. I think they're responding to this, this different Shaw Valley game team that came out this second half. They're starting to respond to them. I think this is more of the game that they would want. Yeah. Got a big section game coming up against Peters Township. Not looking ahead, but you you want a good good outing yeah, either yeah. way. You have to be ready to take on a very aggressive team. And uh, because we know how aggressive this game can get. And the players have to be up for it. They have to be ready. They have to know what to expect and be able to handle the pressure on the one-on-one -on -one and be able to, in one second, spread the t their uh, opposing team and move the ball downfield. And that's kind of what they did this last uh, series. Yes, they have. Looking on that. Oh, oh, he's just trying to drop it off for Allie Lee. Shaw Valley fans trying to get their team into it. I think the Panthers are responding. That was a good mark on the ball. A lot of uh, a lot of players don't even pay attention to marking on a throw in. They just hope to get uh, peel a ball off of a rebound or something. And uh, it's always good to see them take control right that from the throw in. That was a great play. Did you see that? Mm-hmm. Kind of a delayed handball call. Well, sometimes these refs, they don't want to miss anything. It might take well, them a few may, minutes, maybe but call they'll a call foul. It. I don't know. I saw him using the elbow, but he must have called that on Natalie, who they, was. You know, speaking of fouls, this has got to be one of the lowest fouling games between these two teams that I have ever seen. Just Really the, good the, control. The Shaw Valley fans would disagree with you. Well. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you're right. Hasn't been many calls at all. Right. Good fight for the ball. And St. Clair's got it. And they're looking for players. Here we go. We got one on the outside. And it goes out of bounds. Couldn't make it. So, and uh, St. Clair is a throw in. Here it goes. Nice throw. Taking her time. Didn't quite get it through. But Allie Dorsey's back there to regain control, and she can't get anyone to receive her ball. Look at that step in. Beth yeah. is uh, a tremendous player. There you go, Sarah comes in, try to receive the ball, comes back. St. Clair's got it. Nice pass up the turn. field. It's going to get out at about the 50. Shaw Valley throw in. And St. Clair looking there, picking up their marks.
Nice cross. Everybody's moving at once. Nice movement. Gonna look for it. Oh, that was sort of a missed opportunity for Charval to go the other way. Natalie looking to steal that ball, and she does. It's those uh, cat-like reflexes of Natalie Oaken. Nat the hair. The it's the hair. It's the hair. <laughs> <laughs> or the lack thereof. <laughs> I, I don't know. It looks like a lot of hair. If we look at us, we're the ones with no hair. Yeah, we could use a little. The lack thereof. <laughs> Working over in that corner. That's Callie Gall. Nice set. Nice cross. Right, oh, right there. And it's a and goal. It's a goal, yes. Fantastic. That was a great cross by Callie Gall. Great assist by Callie Gall. That was Allie Lee, Allie Lee with the goal. Creeping in on that. Great, great sequence. And I like the way the Lady Panthers responded to this upbeat Shaw Valley team that came out this second half. They stayed right with them, didn't give up anything, didn't back down, and then topped it off with a goal. Yeah. It is 3-0. Three 3-0 nil. Three nil with 27-33 uh, left to play in the second half. And Charval is going to kick it off. They pass back to their midfield. And uh, they're sort of trying to spread Upper St. Clair a little bit. And we're not letting them. Uh, we said no. I've always said it's amazing how a, a goal can just change the disposition of a team. And Shaw Valley came out with a purpose that second half, but you could just see after St. Clair scored that goal, they just, uh, some of the wind got out of their sails a little bit. We'll yeah. see how it goes, but. Well, they're a young team. Maybe they can uh, bounce back and uh, mount some offense and uh, create some competition for Upper St. Clair here. Great cover by the players are coming back. They're covering each and other. They're and crossing uh, that ball, too, from side that, to side. Absolutely. That just makes the other team run. And there goes Natalie. Not She's the cat. Run. Not the cat. Oh. She's right there. She's going to look for that left foot. Good defense by Shaw Valley in that sequence. But that ball will be back to him very shortly. And there it is. Here it comes, and we've got a player on the outside going up the cross. We got three going towards the box. Oh, Ooh, looking for that. It. They were looking for that one touch in the net, and it was just right that behind her. That was the her. same uh, kind of play that she scored on before. Mm hmm. And, uh, St. Clair's doing a very good job finishing. Kelly Gall with a wide open middle field. There's Natalie. Oh, oh, Natalie tried to skip it over the goalkeeper off her head, which was a good play. Off the uh, knot on top of her head. She's got that. <laughs> the hair. The hair. That's, you, you know, it adds an extra three or four inches. Oh, that's that's just outstanding presence by uh, Allie Dorsey there. Just sort of directing people. They're very vocal. I think in years past, sometimes the teams have been a little quiet, but... Uh, not this team. Not this team. They're pretty. Uh, they're pretty loud. And they are using every player on the field too. If you leave one open, they're getting the ball to them. Yeah, well, that's one of the things about uh, this community is that we've got so many uh, weapons, as you've said earlier, on this team, and everybody can score. Uh, there are just a talented bunch of girls. <laughs> Young women, excuse me. They are. This will be a Shore Valley throw in. 3 0, 24, 33 left. Got that effective flat back three that has just been doing a tremendous job today. And here we go. She's going to try to use the goalkeeper who pops it straight up, kind of. Yeah, it's not what the coach wanted to see, I'm sure. Open the middle, middle of the field. It's going to get out of bounds. It's going to be a white throw. Throw in. Oh, nope. 
I guess a red uh, throw. The referee didn't agree with you. Okay. It's probably not the first time. No, that happens a little bit. Very rare that I disagree with the referees, though. Well, we can't, as you said, we can't do uh, play. You know, uh, we can't see that again because uh, we don't we don't have the monitors here. But uh, you folks at home, if you guys get to replay that, and uh, it should have been an upper St. Clair throw-in, you can just send it, your response to. It, it Oops, my to bad, refereeing. Way. It appeared to be that way. Yeah, I'll just say that much. Nevertheless, St. Clair maintaining possession. Well. They uh, were. Charvel throw in. We're going to get some uh, St. Clair subs. Looks like Alex Jaffe's coming in. Well, whenever we get a get possession here. Possession, and then she'll come in and relieve somebody. Not the kill, not the cat with a nice uh, shield. And. And St. Clair just uh, pick the ball off and turn it back the other way. Maintaining possession. They're keeping possession of that ball, keeping Sear Valley on the defense. Players are, they continue to move, which is, uh, which really keeps them, Charval off their, on their back heels. And I'll give them credit. They're still battling, uh, Valley is, but... Uh, They've got a tall order to try to keep up with this very experienced, strong, well-disciplined team from uh, Upper St. Clair. We got Alex Jaffe coming in. She's going to play right mid. St. Clair reset, sending it back to and this Alex is, Lawsetter. It's the only touch she's had on the ball this half is... Uh, when they pass the ball back to her. I don't think she had one last half either. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is, uh, we're talking about Alex giving my lawn chair lost at her. Uh, we, we like that every bit too. We don't mind that at all. Allie Dorsey quickly coming up to keep that ball in the Shaw Valley zone. That's gonna skip out of bounds. Be a Shaw Valley throw in. And St. Clair to step in to break up the pass. Shaw Valley's got uh, players spreading on the field and looking for a pass. Oh, a little miss. A uh, little break up by St. Clair, and St. Clair turns it back the other way. And Nat has the uh, Natalie's ball. Natalie's going to work hard. And she just, just keeps at it. She after. keeps at it. Wait for the players. And Nat uh, gets the ball, and she's got one towards the net. And she's, oh, it's, oh, she's it's in. Oh, it's in. What a play by Nat. <laughs> what a play. <laughs> just overran every two or three defenders. Yeah, she's. I she, thought that ball had gotten out of bounds <laughs> over there. Do. She ran it down, popped it in the corner of the net, and. Yeah. If she'd been shooting at that corner earlier, she'd have two or three more. Right, right. But we'll take that one. That's and we a, have a 4 nil score. And that's a beautiful own goal by uh, by Natalie. She got the ball. It's very easy for a player to get overexcited and, and uh, make a misstep. But she has a good head on her shoulders as uh, and uh, made a beautiful goal. Beautiful goal. I tell you, we have to tell her to wear that hairdo all the time. That man. is going to be she a standard out, uniform. Been, she has been uh, lady possessed since the hairdo. <laughs> lady possessed. <laughs> and there she goes and she again. Has another opportunity, and here she comes. She has got one step. Oh, goalie oh. came in, broke that up nicely. Natalie needed one step. Beth settles it, sends it forward, and That's we've got another another through. Good Goalie's going to be there, yeah. Goalie will be there. Looks like uh, Alex Finley has come in, playing a center attacker there. Finley the finisher. She, Alex had a nice goal in the first half. Looked like we had a ball to... Uh, 
ricochet off of Alex Dorsey right into the face of the Shaw Valley player. And that had to hurt. Yeah. Well, but it's yeah. going to hurt a lot more in late October yeah. <laughs> when yeah. the temperature is about 35. The well, weather right now is just perfect. This is perfect soccer weather. It is. It is overcast and what, feels like about 75 degrees out. Nice breeze. I'll take it. And, and we hope she's all right. And I hope our cameraman is zeroing in on our players over there. We can see uh, Alex Lostetter kind of playing with the ball, trying to get a feel for it, hoping she doesn't have to. Yeah, we, we hope she never feels it. Right. But if she does, exactly. she wants to be ready. 1931 left in this game. Four nil Lady Panthers. And our cameraman fades to black, I think. And we'll be right back. We're back. And uh, player seems to be okay, thank God. And uh, we're about to uh, restart the game with 1931 playing. Uh, Upper St. Clair players take the field, and so does Char Valley. And uh, the... Uh, I don't see any change in the lineup. Uh... Let's see. Nope. nope. Pretty much what we started with. Nope. I uh, would expect our defense is going to pick up where they left off. It's going to be flat back again. And uh, and they're restarting with a kick with Upper St. Clair. St. Clair with the give back due to the injury. Yeah, deep, deep in their field. And, and it's always difficult to restart back where you were. You've got to sort of regain your, re regain your uh, game face and uh, uh, try to Dorsey get that adrenaline didn't picked see, up. She, Allie, excuse me, he, Allie Dorsey didn't see number 22 from Shaw Valley streaking in on her backside and caught her out of the corner of her eye at the last minute and had to flick it out of bounds. So we have a throw in deep in uh, St. Clair territory. It's an opportunity for uh, Shaw Valley, but. Uh, they, they need to find a player that can throw the ball. It's a high one uh, that Alex will probably grab. She uh, is such a good athlete. You got a good jump, too. Uh, maybe that's that basketball training that she has. Alex Quick Jaffe feet tries to. Shaw Valley player saved a sure run. Good yeah, step she... in by Beth. She covers so much. And here we go. She's Finley's got the ball. For Natalie. She's got Natalie. her. Look, oh, a nice great, through great. ball. Here's Finley's Alex. got, oh, oh, just about. She went for that right corner. Yeah, she was She was doing the right thing. The uh, good, good play by Shaw Valley uh, goalkeeper, but she's had a lot of practice today. <laughs> yes, she has. <laughs> but uh, you know, Shaw Valley is very lucky to have a goalie like that. The score would have been a lot higher than it is right now. Couldn't save that ball over there. I can't see who that is. That Allie is, Dorsey. Uh, no, Allie Dorsey's Allie back. Dorsey. No, Allie Dorsey's our Allie star Lee. fullback here. Beth crosses it up. They're just sort of spreading the field and uh, St. Clair players, there I their uh, instructions are as soon as uh, defense spreads it out, you're supposed to spread it out and let's regain control of the field. And, uh, and they do it and well. And they do it well. Excuse me. Bless you. St. Clair's got a throw in. And uh, it's going to be right down the line. <laughs> right. Off the back. Off the back of Nat the Cat. She had to sort of bend down to her knees to head that ball. And still keeping that ball in. Callie Gall kept the ball in the zone. She's a very strong player. And now they're looking for Natalie. Here we go. There's Nat the Cat. There she goes. She's trying to get through a crack there. Alex they Finley was teamed her that time. Alex was uh, Alex Finley was going right to the top of the key where that's where you want to pick up the ball. Yeah, if Natalie could have caught her, they well, she had three people on her. Alex Finley would. Oh, oh, and that looks uh, like that's, that's going to be a definite foul. 
on Alex Jaffe. And St. Clair is making good passes. Slowing the game down a little bit. Getting everybody in position. Here we go. We've got another opportunity. And that's, that's a corner kick. A corner kick. And let's see what the setup is here. Let's see uh, what our set play is. Uh, every team has set plays for corner kicks, and uh, uh, they have different numbers. I'm not sure which number this is, but it looks like we've got uh, sort of two people towards the top, and we That's send everybody kick. in and crash yeah, the goal. Oh, just miss. But uh, ball's still in. Down. There's still an opportunity. And Alex is going to look for either another kick or another opportunity to cross it oh and that's everybody had their feet on that ball <laughs> that ball danced in front of the goal mouth Shore Valley still can't clear it yeah we still have most of all of our players back in there looks like our goalie is playing sweeper back there he's he's out on the 35 yard line Beth stepping in there and keeping that ball in. And they're just keeping everybody pushed up. And we've got a lot of speed. We can get back really fast, which we do. And, uh, and Alex, Alex comes in. Does a good job. Keeps the ball in. And it's that's amazing. You know, that ball would have been out normally. And we got a corner. No. They're calling for a goal kick. That's a good thing I'm not a referee. I'd probably get a lot of fans <laughs> mad at me. I don't know, not this fan. Is that a Jenny Malarkey over there on the left? I can't see. Far Wait, what, left. what number do we got here? And as we... Uh, There's Natalie with a shot. Oh. And St. Clair's got it. We're going to look for another cross here. And beautiful. beautiful. That's oh, in. That's an old goal. That's an old goal. We'll take it. Do you see that cross? That was beautiful. Alex, that was Alex Finley. I, I thought foot. I thought that ball was, was out. out. I did too. I did too. But uh, she had great presence there. Alex Finley it looked like to me. Well, even if it was, they're good. we're going to give the credit to Alex Finley. She certainly deserves it. Well, she, yeah, she's a hard ball, worker. The ball up there. doesn't go on a goal. She doesn't send it over from deep in her own corner. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, and it was a perfect cross right into the goal mouth. Start calling her Finley the finisher. And we have a score of 5 0. 5 0. St. Clair has really done a tremendous job scoring goals this season. I've been uh, sort of looking in the last three goals. This is 25 goals in the last three games. And that is a huge number. They're playing really well. Alex Lawsetter. She says if she can't play goalie, she'll play field. And I bet you she could, too. She's a, she's a tremendous athlete. She does have great ball control. And Valley Dorsey just clears it out, then it's going to get out. That'll be a Shaw Valley throw in. And Shaw Valley changes some players in the field. They're going to try some different things, I would imagine. This Shaw Valley team will probably be a real contender in a year or two. They're just a little overmatched with the experience and skill of St. Clair right now. The Shaw Valley has had a tremendous program over the years, they and have. they had a strong team last year and the year before uh, who were both teams were contenders, and they all graduated, which is what we as parents want all of our children to do, graduate and get Sooner out of the house. Later. Yeah, go to college. And Beth uh, does a good job, gets it over to uh, Alex, and uh, Alex sends it up the line, and goes the net and the, the cat. Yeah, the Natalie show. That was a good play by this Shaw Valley defender who says, I've had enough of Natalie for once. Yeah, clear that ball out of here. 
And St. Clair, we're, we're pushing up again. Here we go. We've got a player on the outside. Going to go for a cross here. And a corner. corner. But that was a good play, too. And you're right. That is uh, Ms. Malarkey up there. She's played well since coming in there. Sarah Sukin, uh, who's uh, she going to? Allie Lee, I think. Up there making the corner kick. And we've got uh, a little header to the box. Oh. oh, good play by the goalie. And that's going to be a uh, goal quick, kick, I she's believe. She's got quick hands. She's had a lot to, lot to duck she's, today. She is a, uh, she's played well, really Just has. Just a sophomore. Well, they're, they're going to put uh, good use to her over the next uh, couple of years. They're really happy to have her, I'm sure. And she has played well. My uh, son was a goalie. He, as uh, was my daughter. As still is your daughter. Still is. And he played. Uh, he played a lot of games where uh, a lot of balls went in his net. He was not a happy camper. I know that feeling very yeah. well. I think uh, goalie parents usually have another house <laughs> where the kids go because they just can't live with them. That's for sure. You know. And then you're the most nervous parent ever. I know. Because yeah. the, the whole game seems to be on your your shoulders. Yeah, if you look that at... That was a uh, nice play. And we're going to Nat the Cat. Natalie's gets a head on that. She's... Oh, she can juggle the ball anywhere. Oh, look at that move. A little scissor over the head. And Charvel mounting an offense. They've spreading the field down. They're making good passes. And they run into the flat back. And uh, they're picking up a couple more, and it's back Alex in Char Finley Valley territory. To dig something out, and she will get a throw in out of it. Yeah, it Coach David Gray bringing in the reserves. Here, well, we're making a. Almost an entire team substitution here. We've got the uh, next batch of defenders. They're going to play the same defense. Is that uh, Mazzarini and uh, yep. Brenda yep. Bird? Brenda Bird and number uh, and who, who's on the uh, outside over there? Number is that 16? Well, we apologize. The announcers here are blind as a bat. Uh, it's a good thing that's a big ball because that's we true. otherwise we wouldn't see it. And uh, I, know that, I know that's Miss Malarkey over there. That's Laura Elliott. Here we go. We got another scoring opportunity, and oh, the goalie makes a nice falling save. That's um, Lindsay. Lindsey Thompson, number 17. Had a nice shot there. And it'll be a Shar Valley throw in. And we were talking about goalies' parents. Usually it's the one parent way off by themselves. That, oh, yeah. That's going to be the goalies' parent. That's, that, that's been me many yeah. a game. Yeah, they're just uh, usually uh, not. not uh, comfortable talking to anybody they're they're nervous they're they're pacing they the ball hits the 50 yard line and they go no oh. <laughs> get the ball oh well somebody's got to beat their parents that's right that's right then again uh you can be a hero a lot of times too yeah that's the uh Make that dive and save to win the game and keep the game and just doesn't happen often enough. <laughs> well, the um, goalies are usually two of the, um, you know, on the field, they're some of the most athletic and the sturdiest people that you'll ever run across. Absolutely. Uh, they, they are warriors in the box there. 
And uh, Shar Valley trying to uh, mount a number of passes. Upper St. Clair just strips it away. Double it's up the line. Nice. It goes Lower out. Outfit. Couldn't quite get there. Megan. And Shar Valley spreading the field a little bit. <coughs> And there's no one there. So it'll be a St. Clair throw in. Oh, great. Keeping the ball in play. And there it goes out. It'll be a St. Clair throw in. So St. These Clair are, moves the ball now. These are girls that don't get to play a lot. So when they do get in, they're, they're not going to slack up. No, it's, uh, it's their opportunity. Here we got a shot on goal. Ball stays in. Great play by the goalie. And St. Clair is just keeping the pressure on. This goes to show you there are really no second stringers in St. Clair's lineup. I mean, they're all just no. dangerous players. Just an army. Just an army, right. Take out one uh, platoon, bring in a fresh one, and and just keep going. If you're Shore Valley, you're saying, when does this stop? And yeah, place. that's a great play, staying with the ball, and uh, Shore Valley player just, just can't keep up with it. And it's an opportunity for Shore Valley to really do something, and St. Clair just keeps pressing. Great defense. defense, great Good defense. defense. Sharp. Oh, great, uh, great recovery by Shar Valley and just to be picked off by the flat back. It's killing him. Back in the old days, it was always a, uh, you know, a, a standard, a, a standard V type yeah. defense, you know, sweeper and fullbacks and stopper and Well, this is David Diamond. Gray's baby, and, um, well, you can't argue with the results. No, I, I think it's working very well. Last year, it was, it was more of a diamond defense than, than a flat back. And I think what has, has helped more than anything else is the, the opposing teams just aren't used to seeing that kind of defense, and they're having trouble developing a strategy to attack it. Right, right. This, this flat back is more of a, a common in, in college soccer than it is, it is in, in high school soccer. Now, I guess in high school soccer, you're always looking for those one or two, you know, star players, and, uh, you know, I, you know, the when I look back. at St. Clair, you know, we really don't have star, you know, one star player. You no. Know, you, you've got a whole bench of them. You've, you've got a wave. And when you have that, it's, it's easy to wear down the other team. You've just got a lot of good players who win balls. Here we go. We got a nice through ball. Let's see if she can get there. And their defense just smothered the ball and kicked it up. And so Char Valley is with... Only four players over the 50 trying to mount an offense, and that's not enough players in my not opinion. Not against that, that, that flat four there. They're not going to make it. If I was the coach, I would be screaming at everybody to move over the line, push it. That's why I'm sure. not a coach. I'd be. Uh, <laughs> You're a fan. I'm a fan. They would be hauling me off in uh, restraining <laughs> harnesses. Nice kick by Brenna. Gets right up, almost... Right to Lins the front line of that ball. To take off. You know, Brenna's going to get in there. Still, even against this second team, Shar Valley having trouble getting through to even mount a charge. Just a, just a lot of strong players on the St. Clair team. And it's a foot race, and I bet you Alice is going to win that one. Here we go. We're looking for another cross, and it gets in there. Oh! That was a good move. Very good move. Because had she not done that, Lindsey Thompson was waiting there to pop that in. 
Yeah, Lindsay, uh, if she would have had uh, just another half step in front of the goalie, she would have had that ball. Touched by Alex. And that has been the extent of her work today. Just touching it. She just gets a toe touch on these balls, and that's about it. I don't think that I've seen one shot on goal. Yeah, she's had one punt this game. A few goal kicks, maybe not even a few. That was a good touch. Very nice. And here we go. We got two players working together. The ball, and that's uh, that's where you want to get a player up there that has a, just a lot of explosive speed. When that ball is just sort of rolling towards the net, somebody just needs to rush there and just pressure the goalie. Brenna has, has such a, a powerful foot. She's onside. Alex Finley she all She has a nice touch. She's going to look to score here. That's a corner and kick. And that's a corner. That's that was a, a nice pass by Brenna Bird, finding Alex out there all alone on yeah, the left it was, flank. Uh, she has a very strong leg, and, and she is a very just a good touch on the ball. The, her passes just get where they need to go. Let's see what we can do with this corner. And Lindsay it's in there, Thompson beautiful. Lindsay goal. the ball up. So here we are with uh, nine seconds left to go. We've, we've got a score. It is six to nil. Nil, nil. Lindsay Thompson knew what she wanted to do with that ball. She received it off the corner kick, stopped, teed it up, popped it in. And uh, really, it sort of, uh, that whole series started with a, a set Pass by Brenna Bird, really. Yeah. And that's and gonna we, do it here. There we have uh, Upper St. Clair is still undefeated, and they have scored seven goals to nil against Shar Valley. Uh, my name is Keith Boyven.